I bought a bunch of Revolution makeup that I've never tried before, so let's test it. This is like the first video that I filmed in ages without any lashes on, but there's the mascara that I need to test. So this one video, I'm not gonna wear it. First up is this pout balm, it's a lip balm, and I got it in the shade Bare Shine. Ooh, it tastes like mint. I thought it'd be more of like a tinted lip balm rather than like a proper pigment, but it's nice. Um, I didn't get a primer, so I'm just gonna quickly go in for the Relove H2O Hydrate Primer. This is Revolution's brand, Relove by Revolution. It smells amazing. I have two foundations to try. I have this Super Dewy Skin Tint. I got this in the shade Light to Medium. I also have the In Real Life Filter Long Wear Foundation, and I have this in the shade F2. It might look a little dark for me at the moment because I haven't tanned yet, so just ignore that. It is definitely a little bit dark for me at the moment, but I like it. I feel like that it just gives like a really natural kind of finish. I don't know, let's see if we can build this up. It's kind of where I've put that second layer on and I'm blending it in. It's kind of taking off the first layer. It's kind of caking up a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see around here, it's kind of just come up. If I look in the mirror over there, that's a little bit further away. It does just make my skin look kind of glowy and like a bit more color in it. It doesn't look too bad. Like, now we're going to go in with the In Real Life filter. I'm hoping this will kind of even out my face a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely a bit more of my shade at the moment. Ooh, okay, that blends in really nicely. And that's got really good coverage as well. I really like that. Even though I have two layers of foundation on, my skin doesn't look cakey or feel heavy. It doesn't really feel like there's anything on it. And next I have the In Real Life filter finish soft matte concealer. I've got this in the shade C1. I should have gone a little bit lighter with the concealer. That blends in really quickly. I like that. I feel like my skin at the moment just looks kind of healthier. Okay, the coverage is definitely buildable. Because I don't have any cream, like contour or blush or anything, I'm actually going to grab the other concealer. I have this in the shade 12.5. Ooh. I definitely put way too much on my nose. My skin is looking really good at the moment. And then to set, I've got the pressed powder. I've got this in the shade translucent. I'm just going to go in with my powder puff also revolution oh that has definitely brightened up my under eye lip there is a little bit of creasing underneath i don't know if you can see it and also it's kind of collected around my nose i'm not sure if that is the tint or the foundation other than that i'd say my base is looking pretty good next i'm gonna go in with this brow gel i got it in the shade medium brown it just comes out a little spooly like that i'm just gonna make a mess it's actually really easy to use and I feel like I shade match that perfectly. I actually really like that. They just look kind of like more filled in and I definitely prefer a natural brow and I feel like that has done the perfect job. Before I put on any more powder, I'm just going to quickly set my base. I've got the Hydrate and Fix Radiance Makeup Fixing Spray. Oh, that does feel really refreshing. I put out two orders to buy all of this stuff. In the first order, I bought this contour palette. And then I also bought this bronzer in the second order. I don't really tend to wear contour. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I only ever wear bronzer. That highlighter looks insane. If anyone has any contour tips, let me know, please, I beg. I'm gonna go into this shade here. Hmm. Definitely has chiseled out my cheekbones a little bit. Snatch that jawline. And I'm just gonna put a little bit up here. It's definitely defined my face a little bit more. I haven't used too much because I don't really know what I'm doing. No, I like that. I like the shade. I feel like it matches everything else really well. I'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter powder shade and just try and shape up my nose a little bit better. Nose is indeed snatched. Now I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. This looks insane. This is so pretty. Okay, see this is where it's at. Do you see how you see how much warmer my face looks now and then for blush i saw this palette and i had to get it i mean look at those two for a start this is just the revolution blush palette it's in the shade sugar and spice look at those colors oh my gosh i'm gonna go in with this shade here oh that is like a really nice kind of peachy pink i'm gonna dip into that same shade up here and this one as well Okay. Yep, I like that. This is the Reloaded Highlighter. I got it in the shade Just My Type. 
I'm gonna spray some more of that setting spray on my brush. I'm just gonna dip into this highlighter here. This palette. Mm -hmm. And before mascara, I'm just gonna set my whole face again. The mascara that I have, I didn't actually take, well, I did order this. This came in a mystery bag. I think they're still doing it at the moment. I don't know whether or not they will be when I end up posting this. On the Superdrug app, they're doing a two for 12 pound. And if you spend 15 pound on Revolution, then you get a free mystery bag. I got this I Heart Revolution Triple Chocolate Mascara. It's a volumizing mascara with cocoa extract. That brush is insane it's huge my lashes have been going through it because i wear extensions every single day i don't actually remember the last time i didn't have them on just for this mascara i am going to grab my eyelash curler that i've never used before <laughs> this is the so eco eyelash curler i got this in my july glossy box it's still a little bit of lash glue on my lashes it's definitely made me look like i have eyelashes this smells like chocolate it literally smells like a chocolate mascara. <laughs> I actually really like that. I feel like obviously it's more natural than I'd go for because I wear lashes, but no, oh, it's really nice. Let's try some in the bottom lashes. This is where I feel like I'm gonna make a lot of mess. This is my lashes before. This is my lashes after. For the fact that I have barely anything to work with, I feel like that's done a really good job. When I go through one of my no lash phases, I would definitely be using that mascara. Last but not least, I do have two things. I have the Ceramide Lip Swirl. I've got this in the shade Soft Pink. I actually bought this one. And then I've also got the Matte Balm Liquid Lip in the shade Nude Allure. Why did I put on a French accent to say that? And that is the matte lip. I got this in the mystery bag as well. If you want to see what's in the mystery bag, I did post a video with the makeup unboxing haul to show what was in there. Let's try the liquid lip first. It's just this really nice, like, mauve kind of nude. Oh. I am more of, like, a kind of lip balm lip gloss sort of person not a liquid lip and especially if i am wearing a liquid lip i go darker <laughs> is it bad if i say i feel like that uk jav trend i mean it's a pretty color and i feel like it would definitely suit someone but that someone is not me that is nice though it's a nice formula it felt good on my lips and it didn't feel like super heavy or tacky or anything let's go in with the lip swirl it's definitely really thick like there's no actual kind of product here Oh, it's really nice though. Like it feels just really smooth. Okay, that is the final look. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Obviously there is that little problem with the base, but I will test the two foundations separately and see which one is causing that problem. But all the base products, the highlighter, the bronzer, even the contour, even though I don't really know what I'm doing. The, literally the only problem that I have is just a little bit of kind of patchy increasing. That highlighter is insane though. Both of them, they are super bright. I feel like Revolution never misses with their highlighters, to be honest. Let me know what you guys think. Also, there's three things in this video that I use that are going to be in the giveaway that I do when I reach 1k on TikTok. So if you can guess what they are. Okay, I'm actually in love with this makeup. 